So today we're going to take the complex logarithm of i. So i, as we know, square root minus 1. So the complex log of i. Okay, so to find the solution for this, what we're going to do, we're going to do it in two parts. And every complex number has a real part and an imaginary part. So to do this, we have the log of i, where i is the modulus. And then add i times the argument of i. Okay, so now, what's the absolute value of i? So we're going to draw it on the graph. There's i, imaginary and real. And that's one. Oh, that look better. Okay, so that's one. So the modulus of one i is just one. So as we know, one is a positive number. We don't need the straight brackets. We can just put normal brackets. So log of one plus i, argument of i. So to do the argument of i, we just need this angle from the real axis to where i is. We're going to call this angle theta. And as this is a right angle, we know that the angle is pi over 2. OK, so let's break this down. Log of 1, as we know, that is 0. Plus i pi over 2. OK, which equals pi pi over 2. And that's the solution. But second part, we know we've got a log with capital letters. OK, there's another solution, which is log of i. We can write it this way. Notice that this is a lowercase l. This is a capital L. So this here is the principal value. And there's only one solution. Technically, we can put one unique solution. So I'll just write unique here. Okay, this one here has infinite solutions. So let's find that. So we start off the same as what we did here. So log of i. Sorry, this should be modulus. Put that better there. Plus i argument of i. Notice we've got a lowercase and a lowercase. So this is for principal argument. This is just for general argument. Move on to the next line, matching this one. So log of i will just give us log of 1, as before, plus i, argument of i, pi over 2. So that's i pi over 2. So, travelling from here to here, that is just one solution. We Also, to get from here to here, we could also go round this way. We could also go round twice and go to there. Go round and round four times and six times, as many times as we like. So how are we going to break that down? Well, we'll come to the next line here. Log of i, log of one is zero, plus i pi over two. How do we account for all those? So each time we rotate, we rotate by two pi. So just to add at the end, we add 2 pi n, where n is just an integer, any integer, could be a negative or positive. And that's our solution. So for principal value, unique solution, i pi over 2. For infinite answers, the answer is i pi over 2 plus 2 n pi. And that's for the infinite solutions. Now, further, further on, we can go in polar notation, in polar form, so i pi over 2. So using uh, Euler's notation, r e to the i pi theta, and r, which is the argument. So in this case, you've got e to the i, r is 1. So the argument of this is just 1, so we just leave that as it is, of e, i, and theta, theta in the first instance was pi over 2. 
So e to the i, pi over 2, and that's the polar form answer. So for this one, we carry on with polar form. We've got e r, e, pi, theta. In this case, theta is a little bit different. r and e and i carry on the same. r is still 1, so we don't write anything for that. e to the i, pi over 2, and we add on 2 n pi. And that gives us infinite solutions. Okay, thanks for watching.